Luxury, comfort, convenience. Everything you need under one roof. Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Florida may soon be the 17th state to raise the speed limit on interstate highways. Under legislation nearing a final vote, speeds of 75 miles an hour would be allowed, but only after a study by the DOT. This bill allows the Department of Transportation to look at minimum speeds and maximum speeds and adjust them to where they feel that's appropriate based on safety. During questioning on the Senate floor, Senator Maria Sachs brought up texting. This is an important issue. She wants police to be able to stop someone and ticket them without some other violation first. I have yet to have anybody call me and say, you know what, my 17-year-old child needs to go faster because that'll make them safer. Never heard that yet. But I have heard legislators, you go on up there and make sure that these kids stop texting and driving. Sponsors argued that people are already exceeding the posted 70 mile an hour limit, but AAA Motor Clubs hates the idea. It says there are problems in most of the states with higher limits. Every one of those states, except two, the fatality rates are higher than the states that have speeds of 70 miles an hour. If the change actually happens, one idea the DOT is talking about is replacing the zero with a five rather than replacing the whole sign. If the legislation clears a final hurdle, it would take effect July 1st. That means higher speeds could be coming to a road near you sometime this fall. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Linder reporting.